There you go, and then you realise what happened. So, no glasses, right? Until when? Until my next appointment. Which I haven't got the card for yet. Bloody hell! That's a very, that's a very long time. I know, because I usually do it around about like a week, week and a half before the appointment actually happens. Okay. Yeah. So, so this, this pretentious food corner my, is, is brought to you by me. I need notes. Where's my notes? You need notes. Do you have internet on the computer? Well, yeah, this is pretentious food corner. Except the food's not all that pretentious. Now, can you tell the people what the, what the pretentious food is? Well, before I do, may I tell you the story of Forrest Gump? Okay, okay, and, and, and now, welcome to the As Yet Undecided podcast. With your running hosts, Mike and Sophie. Huh. Did you like that pun? Yeah, I like that pun, thank you so much. So, we have the story of Forrest Gump. If you... Get a box of chocolates. No, what is it again? Life is like a box box of cho- chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Well done. Mm-hmm. And so we do have indeed a box of chocolates. Except we actually do know what we're going to get because they have an insert in the box that actually tells you exactly what type of chocolate is in there. So we have... Okay, Mike already ate half of it. Or almost half, except for the bits he can't eat because they're full of nuts and therefore he'll die. Um, hazelnut swirl, caramel heart, pure black magic, raspberry heaven, mid- midnight truffle, almond crunch, dreamy fudge, coffee crescent, and orange sensation. Yes. And... and Tasty orange fondant, aka fondue. Yeah, yeah. Fond- fondant, I think it's fondant, not fondue. Yeah. Fondants draped in dark chocolate. So I'm car- I just had a hazelnut swirl, and it's actually quite nice. I'm glad. Yeah. So. So this is pretentious food corner, except it's Nestle Black Magic, which, and as you know, Nestle does not produce pretentious chocolate. Good. That's fair enough. Mhm. So Mike, are you going to try another chocolate, or have you tried them all? Well, I, I've tried them all, but I wouldn't mind having a few more. So which one do you like the best? Um, the the raspberry one, I would think, is the best. So the raspberry one is um. So you, so this is to make sure that Mike does not get um anaphylactic shock. A raspberry heaven is a circular piece of chocolate with three waves on it. One on top, two at the bottom. Don't die. I no, just, no, no, you have the other one. Um, I just, well, I've got this box, Mike. I just ha- handed Mike a piece of chocolate. I hope he does not die in front of my eyes. He's my best friend, you see. I'd rather not see a good brother <laughs> lose his life over a piece of chocolate. By the way, where is your, epi- where is your EpiPen? I'm opening this up. This is not your EpiPen. No, it's not. But take this one tablet. Just if if you ingest a wrong piece of chocolate, you take a piece. You take a tablet. Yes. And then you'll be fine. Yes. Okay. Well, considering that I take two a day. Oh yeah. Doesn't mean you're allowed to eat anything if you take two a day, or. Yeah, but it's like it's for. Well, instead of an EpiPen, I take. Um, hay fever tablets. Oh yeah. Which, because it is an antihistamine tablet, yeah. works the same way. Oh yeah. Uh, a similar way, not the exact way, a similar way to an EpiPen. Why don't you have an EpiPen? Because EpiPens are two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's a solid no. So life preservation techniques are only for the rich. You're, you are just realising that now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm not. I knew that. <laughs> that's, that's why cryogenic freezing is for... The rich. Yeah. So, I thought EpiPens can be, can be got on prescription. No. 
No? No anymore. What happened? National government? <laughs> in, in, in a lazy nutshell, yeah. Man, whenever I look at the policy sometimes of the um, right-wing governments, I think, are you trying to kill off all the poor people? Yeah. I mean, they're not. They're not that evil. But they're probably a little bit callous, you know, about the needs of the others. Did you have a look at that US tax bill? Um, you mean Trump's ultimate plan to get rich? Yeah. Remember, he's broke and poor, so this is his chance of getting mega wealthy before he gets kicked out. <laughs> but um, the interesting thing is, um, no academic said that it could work. Every single one of them said that it would balance. It just, it will just plunge America into a gigantic black hole of debt. Yeah, yeah. But, but Trump doesn't care because it's his way of getting rich, you know. So no, no, the part. That well, this is my reasoning behind having a government in the first place. Yeah. Having a government is great when you are on the poor side of life. Yeah. When you are on the other side, mm. you don't like government. No. Because you want to be independent, you just want to do your own thing. Yes. A government's great when you need them, but once you don't need them, you just think that they're too boring and too controlling. Even though mm. we have society to thank... For a lot of benefits. From the government. Such as roads, schools, libraries, hospitals. Yes. Oh, well. Sometimes when you're rich, you kind of forget about the benefits that something can give you. Yes. Well done. Yeah. Well done. I know. I've noticed with some of the people I know. Yeah. Because, like, um, if you... I'm, I'm not sure if you've seen the movie About Time. It's, it, it is a crap movie. Yes. But it's a great premise. Justin Timberlake? That's the one. Um, it's... What, it's, what's it called? About Time. About Time. Yeah. Okay. So, when you reach 25... You get a limited amount of time. You get 10 years left. And that time is used as a currency. Yeah. Yeah. And we, the, the more affluent that you get... The um, longer you can live. No, the less time you have left. The more affluent you have... The aff more affluent. No, no, well, well, if you're going from the poor side to the rich side... Yeah? Time gets taken off you. Why is that? I thought it's the opposite. No, because you know you you know it's just like a bank balance. Yeah. If you go into a wealthy part of town with the money that you had, yes, it'll go far quicker. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I would say, bad movie, great premise. Yes. And uh, you know it is adapted from other books, which are far better than the actual movie. That's how it usually goes. Yeah, that's how we usually count. But yeah. But in saying that, Merry Christmas. More like Happy New Year now. Yeah. I mean, we're at the halfway point. Yes. We're at the halfway point of the week. But that's the thing, though, Mike. By the time this gets released, it might even be the New Year. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. It will be. It'll be around about mid jan when this comes out. No, it won't be. Um... Um, because we're back on normal schedule now, this will be released next. Tu this will be released on Tuesday, on a Tuesday next. We're currently recording this on the twenty eighth. Hopefully, it'll be released next Tuesday. Okay. Shall we do that, or because we don't need this? Because we're keeping the spears for just in case. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. You get what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I get what you mean. Now. Yeah. So now that we officially dated the podcast, I think we made it even a little bit useless. So this um, podcast is only good for one month. So I, I beg the question. Yes. What are what are your goals for twenty eighteen? Get through uni. Get through uni. Yes. Seriously, I've heard that third year gets a bit intense as well. So I mean, I mean, it's not quite as bad as the jump from first year to second year, but it's still pretty yeah. bad. Third year is the drag. Yeah. Third year is the drag. How about the fourth year? Fourth year is more like, can I just finish, please? 
That's, how about the fifth year, the mythical fifth year? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's more of, I just want to, I just want to finish, please, I just want to finish. Uh, or it's like, I love this, I think I might do my masters. Uh, yeah, I think you may go that route, I'm like, I just want to finish. So you, you want, you, the whole, I just want to finish and write down, and I might do the whole, actually, I think I might, I just want to stay forever here. Yeah, but yeah. Just do my masters. Yeah, and then like, you know, after a few years, you get to get itch again. Yeah. Yeah. To go back to uni and to learn. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so that's that's usually my thing. I just like, I just want to finish work for a couple of years. I'm like, I'm getting the itch again. Yeah. 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 So you're the on and it gets off again academic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am the light bulb academic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Not controlled by an app, unfortunately. No. <laughs> How about you? What do you want to do for 2018? Graduate. <sighs> Well, yeah, well, yeah, there's a lot that I want to do, but theoretically, I just want to survive. Yeah. I know it's, I know saying that is, is extremely dark, like the chocolate. I know. But, yeah. Because you have to admit, 2017, for me, was pretty crap. Yeah. <laughs> Being legally blind for all of it, mm. and everything else on top of that, I'm like... Come on. Pray for 2018. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pray for 2018. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like, but you, you know, I would like for this to get to episode 80. Mm. Yeah, it's hopefully continue after that. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm like, like from March till today, mm-hmm. we've done around about 43 episodes. Wow. So I would like for another 43 to be done. Mm. I know it's a very modest goal, and it's, and it's very dependent on our communication. But start small. But where do you think you go after you graduate? Now, I don't know, well... It, it, well, you have to think about, ideologically, what people think about these sort of, these sort of things. Mm. Um, you, you have the overreaching optimists. Of the list? Yeah, well, you, because there's a list of people, and under these people, you have the overreaching optimists. Overreaching of the list? What no, no, that? no, overreaching optimists. Overreaching optimists? Yeah. I thought you said of the list. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that joke, by the way. I, 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 know, you, I know you didn't intend that joke, but I like that joke. <laughs> um... Who, who always say, what are you going to do after this? Mm-hmm. I don't like that very much. Because, like, it's like it's it's like asking a person doing their masters how their thesis is. You do not want to say that at all. <laughs> they're just super stressed out and they're just in the now. Yeah. But I just want to know, you know, like, um, do you think they still continue your friendship after you leave? Because like, it's going to be difficult, say, if you decide to move over to Hamilton or something. No, um, but... Like, I might never see you again. By, by the looks of things, I will be in Auckland for the foreseeable future, probably for at least the next half decade. Five years. At this stage. Wow. Because of what's been going on with my eyes and the surgeries, I probably will be here for, the next, for at least the last the next decade. Okay. Um, I'm trying to work on where I want to do my placement. Yes. Um, and considering the, the conversation with your stepdad. Dad. No. Dad. 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 He's dad. Dad. But you know why I said that. Yes. Um. Don't ever talk about men. Well, exactly. Exactly. Dad. Um, so you, after the conversation with dad. Yeah. Um. I'm probably going to pursue the placement at the Auckland City Mission. Cool. And um, work how to um, establish and um, establish a charity and how to go about that. Nice. Like all of the paperwork. Registration, tax cuts. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, um, yeah, and then 
and say that you have these people who who I like personally is, and just think of the moment. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, let's just get through today. Because you can't afford to think of tomorrow. Yes. And then you have these people who who the person I hate worse than those outrage optimists mm. who say that you should just quit because of your predis- genetic predisposition and just work for the rest of your life. Nah. Yeah, exactly. Nah. Mind you, I'm one of those optimists, aren't I? Yeah. You don't hate me, though. No, I, I don't hate you. Mm. But it's... It, it's <laughs> when you're that age... Yes. You, you have mistakes to make. Yeah. That's the best way to explain it. And, and, and like, even me at 31, I still have mistakes to make. I see. So my plans can go awry. You're saying that. Yeah. I mean, it's still got that year to plan, though, so you know we more or less where you're going. Yes. But do expect your plans to change. Yes. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, because... Well, since you've known me for a wee while now, mm. I, I wouldn't consider myself to be the best of that thing, but if you want to call me that, I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. Best, best of what thing? Best of friends. Best of friends, yeah. Um, you are the closest. Yeah, yeah, I am the closest. But um, I, I try to be as least of a hypocrite as I can be. I'm not sure if you've noticed this. Yeah, I've noticed that. I really do appreciate that. I try and be the same too, but I fail too often that I keep like <laughs> to pick. I was like, oh, I'm so me. Yeah. Yeah, because... I'm sorry. I, mean, no, no. I can't be a hypocrite. It's like, Ugh. Yeah. You have to tell me where I am, okay? <laughs> it's your job. Yeah. So because sometimes I don't know when I'm a hypocrite. I'm like, oops. Yeah, I, I just go, remember what you said last week? <laughs> and and I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, yes! <laughs> and I'm like, crap. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... And, and try to be transparent with everybody. Yeah. Um, that's my thing, too. Um, I, I know with social media, yeah, it is it has made it universally easier. Yes, to tell everybody everything. Well, well, well what what you want to tell everybody. Yeah. Um, and yes, you still get those people who still say, um, "What what's up with me with with the eye?" For example, well, I, I got I asked that at Christmas. Yes. Um, and since she wasn't a friend on Facebook, I fully told it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And it was like pretty much the same story. I've told the podcast and I've told you and told everybody else. You reminded me. Yeah. <laughs> because I forget. Yeah. But, 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 but one of your strengths, Sophie, is that you're very persistent. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're always asking the same questions. One... I'm not sure if you have forgotten or two that you're trying to make me sound like a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm not no, it's tru- no, it's truly because I've forgotten some details and I want to go through the details over and over again before I forget. Yeah. yeah. No, I forget small details <laughs> easily. Yeah. So I was like, I'll just like remember roughly what happened. Like, oh yeah, you just went to hospital to get your eye thingy, but I can't quite remember whether you got like stitches or got your stitches removed. Something to do with stitches in hospital. That's what. <laughs> it's like that's what I remember. Yeah, yeah well, well that, that was going back to September. That was. Yeah, I'm just giving you uh, you an example of some something that I've forgotten. Therefore, I asked you to repeat the whole story again, so I can remember whether you are a getting your stitches removed or taken on, or b it's like how you, just refreshes memory and also gives me something to talk about. Yeah, yeah. And, and for the people at home, what Sophie is referring to was currently mm. um, in the eye surgery I had how many stitches? 16 stitches in the eye. Yeah. Right? Um, and right on the inlet, uh, on the part of the eye that is right beside your nose Yeah. It was a little bit loose. Ah, oh, yes. Um, if you look at yourself Yeah. And there's a clock there um, it was loose around about between 7 and 7.30 is that why you had to take the Vaseline? No, 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 no. Um, th- that's the reason why I had to go in for surgery the second time. Wow. Um, so they cut one stitch. Yes. And put three there. 
Ah, oh, yes. To reinforce it. Um, Oops. Yes. Yeah, so currently I have 18 stitches in the eye. And do you have, um, and why are you taking Vaseline again? Um, the Vaseline, um... Hey, this is a, an example of me forgetting details. Yeah. Mike's told me once. Okay, so this is what I have to take. Yeah. It's basically glorified Vaseline. Yes. Um, and during... Between the transplant surgery and now, yeah. I've had two scratches an eye. From? It could be from anything. Everyday life. It could be um, dryness from sleeping. It could be exerting myself at the gym. It could be... Dust. could be dust. could be um, anything. Yes. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, because of it being a new thing... Yeah. Scratches would appear to imp to impede your vision a lot easier. Ah, oh, yes. So it's basically doing a fix-it job. Yeah. With Vaseline. Ah, oh, so you're literally filling in the eye scratches, like the filler in the for the wood. Yes. The putty for the wood. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, um, and, and alongside that, that's why I'm up to three drops. Yes. Yeah, that, that's what happens when you get a scratch. How long is your list of medications now? <laughs> Don't bother. Um, you, you mean totals? Totals. Totals. In between your antidepressants, your oh. eczema creams, and your eye creams, and your eye oh. business. How, ma how many medications do you need to take now? I mean... They're, they're every, every day? I think about seven. No, in total. Total? It's yeah. about, eight, about eight, nine. Yes, because like half your shelf is dedicated to medications. <laughs> half of a shelf is dedicated to medications. And, and one time I saw, I, I read through your prescription list and I'm like... Oh, my shopping half? list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, shopping, your, your shopping list for the chemist. And I'm like, <laughs> how do you keep track of all this? <laughs> in, in actual fact, you really don't. <laughs> no, no wonder why you're not healing as well as you should. There's like just too many things to remember. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like that oh, I should be start taking those blister packs. <laughs> yes, you probably should, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, those blister packs, I see them all the time. It's Liz Knox. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, I, 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 well, you have some notes. Yes. You have some notes. Um, what? Yeah, so really? <laughs> okay, so, Mum, okay, just for context. Really? Um, just before we start, I need to give you a slight background. Mum recently went back to China. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, and uh, she went there to go to a medical co to for a medical conference. Oh yeah. Um, oh, how, 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 how was the voice recorded? Um, yeah, apparently, yeah, she didn't say anything about it. Apparently, it went <laughs> fine, but oh well. You know, if she doesn't say anything, it means it went fine. Okay. And um, yeah. And um, the trip wasn't exactly what you call a resounding success. Okay, okay, can, can you give, um... I mean, um... The context? The, I already gave you the context. The yeah, conference, but, the conference but, itself is fine, but other people's behaviours were less exemplary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, let's start with that. Okay, um, st stereotypically... Mm-hmm. So... It was going to happen. What do you think would what do you think had happened, Mike? Now I always go back to the hair salon. Mm hmm Or going to a bathroom at a bar. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be gossip, gossip, gossip constantly. Yeah. And, and when you're hanging around at a conference mm -hmm. with a whole bunch of middle aged Chinese ladies. Not just lady. Oh well. Well, the, okay. Are the majority women? No. No. And not all of them are Chinese. Okay, there will be some gossip involvement. That's true, though. Yeah. And the Chinese. It's not just the women that like gossip. It's also the men as well, even though they won't admit it as res as um, readily. Right. But the thing was. Mum told someone that she's going off to China, and suddenly the whole Chinese community knew. 
Okay. And then she was getting all sorts of requests from other people to actually carry stuff for them back to China. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's a uniquely Chinese thing. No one would do. No one. I mean, I can't think of anyone else who that would do it from any other culture. From any other cultures. You'd be surprised. Okay. Right. Do you ever had someone carry? St- oh no. Do you know someone that would ask you to carry stuff for them? Well, if, if it was going to a Pacific island, of course. Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah, basically, if you are related mm. to a person in there, you'll be told to take stuff for a relation. Yes, I'm talking about I'm talking about total strangers here. I know, and you still have four chocolates to go. I'm not having those. Yes, you are. I already had four chocolates. I'm going to have them later, but I'm really I'm really sick of them. Okay. I already had my fill. I don't feel like having any more chocolates right at this moment. Okay. But. Now I'm talking about like patients and um, mum people people mum barely knew asking her to take us take stuff for her back to China. Whereas with Pacific Islands, at least you only get asked by your relatives, right? Yeah. But for the Chinese, it's like free war and it's like free courier service. Now, because yeah, what I know about your mother. Yes. Did she charge? No. You're not supposed to. You're just supposed to, you know, just take the stuff for the people. And it's like... You know the old saying, the milkshake brings all the boys to the yard? Yes. Yeah. Use that same premise. Mm, I know. News of travel brings all the goods into the yard. Yes. But anyway, do you know any other cultures that would actually do that? Or is it just the Chinese? It would... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it'll be purely Chinese, but it will be very specifically Asian. I see. And what do you think of it? Uh, would you? I mean, if you've heard that someone is going to go to a con- go to a country that you want to send stuff to, would you force them to take it, take the stuff for you? Um, I would generally have a price tag for it. No, 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 no. Other way round. Flip it. Would you force someone to take stuff for you? No. Why do and do you think it's rude to force people to take stuff for them? I mean, no, no, no. Is it? Do you think? Do you consider it rude for you for you to force other people to take stuff for you? Well, well there is a line. Yes. Based. <laughs> On familiarity, do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll go. Yeah, we we'll go from familiarity. Yeah. Or, uh, in the socialism case. Yes. Um called the onion effect, also known as social penetration theory. Oh, yes. Where, like an onion... Yes. ...has layers, right? Layers of friendship. Yes. Layers of fear. Yes. <laughs> Steam game, by the way. Steam sale! <laughs> Steam sale. We have to talk about that as well. Um, yeah. Th- the deeper of the layer that you get... Yes. ...the more likely you would... Get away with it. I see. So, for example, spouses definitely get away with it. Yes. Parents. Yes. Ninety-five percent. Children. Ninety-five percent. Yep. Siblings. Ninety-five percent too, because they're the you know yeah, yeah, immediate yeah. family members. Yeah, yeah, but, but like yeah. immediate family members about ninety-five percent. Um, closest family members. Sixty percent. Yeah, you but yeah, like friends fifty. Yeah, but like but like I said, there's yeah. a line. Yeah. Dependent on on the individual. Yes. Where that scale stops starts. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's just so so like, yeah. Well, whatever your line is. Yeah. But the problem is. There are some people that are higher in that percentage threshold. Yes. That will exploit it. Oh, I know. So, for example, like um, Asians. No, but, 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 with mum. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Um, but you, you know, that's not inherent. Uh, that's not inherent according to race. That's no. more inherent to personality rather than anything. But it's, it's very common amongst the Asians, so it's like that's getting a little bit worrying here. But. Well, yeah. well, well, let's just say we always talk about. I'm being, I'm being meta racist. I'm being. Not, yeah. No, yeah. I'm being auto racist. 
Yeah. But, I'm being auto racist, yeah. But l- l- like, you, you know, and, and, and media portrayals. Yeah. They always talk about the few bad apples. Yes. Right? Right. How many bad apples would there be in the billion people? <laughs> oh yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, you see what I mean now. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's my logic behind it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's good logic actually. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, it's like, why would you force someone to take stuff for you? Are you trying to Are you trying to get mum arrested for drug trafficking? Now. Oh, imagine doing that. Imagine if a rival doctor, posing as a friendly friend, got mum to traffic drugs for her. So she, so mum can go to jail and get her out of the way. I will, I will say, be meta racist. Yes. That, a that Asians are portrayed in air traffic shows. Yeah. To bring prohibited goods into a country. Yeah. Some guys do it innocently. For example, oh my goodness, this yeah. is my this is my diabetes medication, dude. It's a frog. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it is fine, but sometimes it, it, it is borderline exploitive. Yeah, it's like... And causing a risk. I know. And, um, you know, if, you, if you're forcing complete strangers to do the trafficking for you, you actually don't care. You're just, you know, another pawn in the game. Who cares if we just lost, like, a kilo of methane, because we, mean we, just, we can just make another batch. Yeah, but, yeah, but the problem is of the plausible deniability Why is that? that the person giving the person the items yeah. is not charged for it. No. The person bringing it into the country is charged for it. Yes. Are they going to bail them out of jail? Of course not. No. Of course not. Which is why you shouldn't take goods for other people. Yeah. It, because, they couldn't, because they probably want you to go into jail. That's why... I always, when I go into a particular situation, yes, I always go with the worst case scenario plus the humanity effect. What's the humanity effect? That there, there are glimpses of positivity inside humanity, but it is generally people pretty might, bad. People might be exploiting you, yeah. Yes. So, Mike, would you take things for me if you went overseas? Now, like Australia. It'll be dependent on what it is. Yes. I will be asking you, is it a prohibited substance? Will you be Spanish inquisiting me? Yes, that would be unexpected. Yes. Can you fit inside a luggage bag? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's a no. <laughs> uh, actually, I might be able to. See? Yeah. I managed to bore myself into a ball and big, small enough to probably fit into one of Dad's larger luggage bags. Yep, yeah, you can roll yourself into a ball and become Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Gotta and, go fast. And it's nothing is faster than a plane. Yeah, nothing's faster than a plane. Mm-hmm. And another racist thing I've noticed. Um, really? Really? Okay, okay. It's slightly racist thing about China, yeah. This is my slightly racist... Got tr- tried <laughs> against Chinese culture. Slightly racist corner with Sophie. <laughs> but you know, this type of racism is ac- acceptable because it's racism against myself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which under my realm of racism is purely fine. It's the only form of racism that's fine, apart from na- racism against Nazis, because they deserve it. Yeah. Um. Okay. What was? Uh. What was the other? Thing. Um, oh, I forgot it. Maybe it wasn't that important. Okay. Yeah, actually, you know what? Never mind. That was the only only gripe I have against the Chinese culture right at this moment. Okay. It's like just forcing people just to take other people's luggage for you. It's like, why would you do that? <laughs> okay, talking about slightly sli- talking about slightly offensive things, offensive Christmas questions, because Mike had a heap of those. What shouldn't you ask at a Christmas gathering? <laughs> Oh, wow, okay, okay. Number one, why are you fat? Number two, when are you going to get a, girl, get a girlfriend slash boyfriend? Yes. Um, and actually, in saying that, yeah. um, 
I didn't get the brunt of it this time. Oh, because he's with nice people this time, you know that? Well, who do you usually spend Christmas with? <laughs> it's usually with my family, but it's... Yeah, the, the, my, my... Yeah. Generally, it's the person who is supposedly better off, but really isn't. Mm. Um, so, so in this case, it was my cousin taking about, oh, why do you go drinking every weekend? And why don't you have a partner? I'm just like, these are completely arbitrarily style questions. So where did you get that? Where did you get that information from? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, I'm like, really? <laughs> and imagine even more awkward questions. Why don't you have a girlfriend? Are you, are you gay? <laughs> I'm very gl- I'm very glad no one, no one went that went that far. I'm very glad no one went that far now. No, no. <laughs> what is that? What is it? Um, I bet someone would have asked oh, that question. The, there's a new term. Um, I'm just glad I am not an involuntary celibate. <laughs> That's the new term. That's the new term. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. In- involuntary celibate. I'm like, yeah. You're, you're an involuntary celibate. No, I'm, I'm not. You're not. I'm not. So you're voluntarily celibate. No, I'm voluntary celibate, not involuntary sort of celibate. Ah, oh, yes. There's a difference. There's a difference, yes. One of them involves getting your balls cut. No, no, but I was meaning that, um, you, you, you know, I, I am available. That's the best way to explain it. Yes. I am available. But I am not going to deliberately... Yes talk to a person horribly mm. to be celibate. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. And I, um I, I, I am not a poo poo person. No. <laughs> well you're single as a Pringle. I am yeah, yeah. Single as a Pringle. Yeah. And no one wants to take the last chip. Okay. <laughs> so other offensive questions you shouldn't ask over Christmas. Um bank statements. Income? Yeah. Why are you still poor? Yeah, yeah, because like we have these arbitrarily um, goals. Goals. Well, maybe lifestyle questions in general. Like you shouldn't really ask about other people's lifestyles unless it's actually actively hurting them. Yeah, Sophie, where's your second boat? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't asked about the first one. <laughs> no, 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 no. That one's in the bathroom. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, I do have a Sunday boat, so one boat's in the bathroom, you know, rubber ducky, and another boat in the ice cream parlour. How's that? Yeah, and the other one in the white butter harbour. <laughs> I don't have a boat. <laughs> Sheesh, man. Yeah, yeah but, you, you know, that, that's my style of asking those arbitrarily style questions. Yes. Completely throw them off. Nice. How about, um, when are you going to have kids? Again, a lifestyle question. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it, it's like, I want grandkids. It's like, well, when are you going to get that goldfish? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not ask those questions? Yeah, yeah, Sophie, when are you going to get a goldfish? Or maybe like deep questions such as, oh, what do you think the meaning of life is? Oh, God, no, 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 no. That's, that's the sort of questions that you go into a bar in the viaduct of Auckland that you have with old friends. Oh, yes. Which, I'm sorry, thinking about it now, I'm not regretting it. Yes. But I should have gone. Should have gone where? You invited me to go with Dad and his friends yes. on a philosophical journey at the Vida. Where's One the... time. After quiz night. Oh, yes. I should have gone. Mm. But, you, I, I, but it was a Wednesday and you had washing to do. Yeah, I know, but still... If I knew about that prior, mm. I would have gone. Yeah. Sorry, I was actually um, I was actually quickly put on you, and that kind of just ruined your plans. So yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. So like, um, regrets only happen. Yeah. If you do the mistake twice. Yeah. But um, I'll give you more notice next time. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that'll be great. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so that's what that's what I call a regret. Okay. Uh, we wasn't even bought you a drink. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, and like living a a from oh I wouldn't say frivolous lifestyle, but more of a drug dependent lifestyle. Yeah. 
um, why are you drinking so much? Yeah. You, should, you should settle down. Yeah. And all that sort of jazz. And like, uh, when are you getting another wife? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. When's the fourth husband? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that would be my question to ask my cousin who doesn't even have a partner and hasn't been married. It's like, where's your fourth husband? <laughs> <laughs> Mum and Dad last time watching Sickness in Seattle and I got bored. Yeah. Halfway through. Yeah. Because uh, everyone was so obsessed with, oh my God, I have to find that husband. Oh my God, I have to find that wife. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. I don't understand. The, the, I'm not old enough to understand that, so I'll just leave Mum and her Dad to it. The, the, that's how the bars and Mars works. Bars and Mars? Bars and Mars. One, I was t- I was doing two jokes there. Oh. One was a Mars bar. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah. And two, women are from Mars. Mar- uh, yeah, women are from Venus. Men are from Mars. Nice. Like bars from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Many other offensive Christmas questions. Do you think we should we should never ask? Um, about obscure clothing. Yeah. Why are you wearing that obscure piece of piece of clothing? Or why do you dress inappropriately? Mm. I know I get that from my certain co-host. Me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that. Oh, mind you, I only ever did that, did that one time because I was afraid you'll get kicked out of the restaurant. I know, but still. Yes, I'm very sorry, but you, I didn't <laughs> want you to miss out on dinner. But still, but still, my, yes, po- it, my point is is still. It's still valid, yes. Yep. But I didn't want you to go hungry. <laughs> Yes, it has a p-value of less than 0.05. What, what, what's that? Possibility value of... No, a p-value. What's that? Um, it's it's the show that a, a value is significant or not. Oh, yeah? yeah. Was it significant, was it? Yeah. Well, 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 it was significant, yeah. because if I didn't wear the thing, I would have been kicked out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's would be, like, the only reason why I would judge your clothing. It's like, if you... If you won't be able to go where I want, where I would like you to take you, yeah, then I, or if it, then I will actually force you to wear something nicer. And, yeah. and speaking of offensive jokes, hey, we have to talk about steam sale, right? No, but I'm pretty sure that would be it. Yeah. For this. Actually, it probably is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But before we, but before we do that, um. All right. What do you think of the inclusion of Steam cards recently in the Steam sales? Um, I think... Are they forcing us to make more money? Are they forcing us to do more on Steam? Now, now, watch out next week. Yeah? Where we will be talking about um, volatilities of cryptocurrency. Oh, please do, yes. Yes, because Steam now does not accept Bitcoin. And I can see why. Yeah, I can see why too. (laughs) So, um, this is the end of the Actually on the Side podcast. You could contact us on the minus and Sophie9709. Or as the undecided at gmail.com or at AYU podcast. And um, just just for a PS, um, I'm going to get Sophie to watch a video called Man's Not Hot. So, because she she speaks in a English twang, yes, and I need a interpretation of it. Oh, I see. <laughs> Have a good week. You too.